YouTube. You're back with me again, Senna, uh, uh, from East Tackle. On today's show, we're going to talk about how to cast and retrieve properly. Uh, so the setup that I'm using right now is a Yama, uh, Major Craft cross stage rod with a Shimano 2500 high G or high gear uh, reel uh, with a PE.8 and a fluorocarbon about 10 pound. And I have a Snap and a Yamashita Neon Bright Lure. So what I'm trying to achieve today is trying to show you guys how to cast and retrieve properly. Because yeah, it, casting an eggy is a lot different than casting a jig because tech, by default, they're not very aerodynamic. Even though uh, there's a few eggy made by Duel saying that, okay, uh, we made an eggy. We know the eggy is not aerodynamic, so we're gonna design an eggy that is aerodynamic. But this squid lure is more hydrodynamic than aerodynamic. So it's a lot, uh, a lot harder to cast. So simple cast, uh, just make sure your uh, leader to mainline knot or it's outside your uh, guides. Uh, so let's say the recommendation is about a meter to uh, 75 centimeters. That should be more than plenty because your rod is about 2.6 uh, meters or 2.4 meters. So one meter to 70 centi 75 centimeters should be enough to cast. So, and it won't get you entangled. So simple cast motion is just holding your rod like this, opening your barrel arm, catching with your index finger letting your rod load just by holding it like that and, and just like that throw just one motion push and pull so you push like that and the eggy will pull on the rod and it will help the uh the rod load so one more time so yeah so we're casting about 10 gram eggy about uh, number 2.5 so the same thing you can go as low as you want depending on like oh i like to go really uh, a long drop or a short drop the main point is just to make sure your leader and line knot is outside the guides if they're not outside uh, you're gonna have a cluck, 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 like a clunking sound those clunking sound means that your guide or your knot is hitting the guides because the rings are very small it usually weakens the knot over time not when you first cast or maybe like the 10th cast, maybe like the 20 to 15 cast, because egging is a, egging is a very active sport. So you kind of like cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve to get the squid. So you can do that like that also. It's the same, it's much more of a loop, not a direct shot. So uh, if you're getting tired and you don't want to work your hand a lot, you won't push your eggy really hard. Just do a loop cast, make make the drop longer, maybe about like a halfway of, uh, of the rod length. So once you cast, there's two types of retrieve. They usually tell you like, oh, you should hop, 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 but an eggy mimics a shrimp or a fish. So you can work it two ways, like a fish or a shrimp. So a shrimp is just like a simple, you take the slack out first, Hop, re lower, hop lower, hop lower, hop lower, hop lower your rod, hop lower your rod, hop lower your rod. You don't have to do it that fast. You can just hop one or two times, like like that, and just let the, let your let your eggy drop and take the slack out. Same, like that, and take the slack out. The reason you want to take the slack out because you want to feel the eggy moving through the water and if there's a squid attacking it or tapping it, it's fairly easy. Sorry about that. So that's a fast cast. You're using full power. You're using all of your uh, body, hip and shoulder muscles to push the eggy out or push your lure out. So th this is called a, uh, a darting retrieve or a dot slide side jerk i call it a side jerk because if you keep pulling your jerk up it's still gonna be hopping but if you're jerking it down like this or a side jerk like that 
like when you're working a pencil bait or a stick bait that jerk and release of tension will make the eggy dart from left to right left to right so you still So yeah, that's how you work it. It's fairly easy. Let me show you one more time. So you just... And that. Slow, 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 slow. Yeah, so you work it like that to make the eggy dart. Some eggy will not dart, some eggy will dart depending on uh, the style. But most of the time, if it's really designed for darting, it will dart. But you can make an, uh, a usual eggy, like a shrimp eggy dart also. You just have to, by letting your rod in tension and out of tension, it will make the eggy dart from left to right. Okay, th those are the two main retrieve. There's called there's many type of jerk. There's called a slack jerk, uh, which is you're jerking twice very strongly. And the main point is to let your eggy uh, be in the same circle of your casting area. So let's say you're not casting, you're casting far, but you're aiming for that big squid because big squid tends to hold on the bottom. They're looking up. Or searching on the bottom because they're looking for a bigger castration or a bigger prey fish where they can ambush from the bottom so yeah that's how you work it and that's how you uh, get your eggy to uh, uh, to behave more naturally so thank you very much for your attention and I hope you guys uh, learned something today and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Good hunting.